Hi, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All, and today I'm doing my tutorial video on the new Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette, and it looks like this. And I created this orange and red and yellow sunset eye look using this palette. So I already did a review video and I will go ahead and link that below, but if you want to see how I created this look with this palette, then go ahead and keep watching. Per the usual, I already have my eyebrows on, my primer, and uh, face makeup on like the top portion, and I actually went ahead and did the left side of my face just for the sake of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and start, and first I'm going to highlight my brow bone using the shade Lyric. I'm going to use the base shade Molder here in my crease. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush, Went to the highlight shade Lyric and put that up under my brow bone. Okay. And then go into a shader brush, fluffier brush, and go into Molder and just put that as a blending color. And this helps all the shades blend together. So it's pretty much skin tone, like you want to use a shadow that is as close to your skin tone. So for me, it's that one, Molder. So just put that in the crease there. Then I'm going to go into this matte yellow shade called Fran right there. And I'm going to put that over where I put the Molder shade. And these shadows, in my swatch, all the swatches came out patchy and weren't um, as opaque like all the way through the swatch and I thought that they might be a little bit patchy when you're applying them, but as you can see, they're not. I mean, they've performed really beautifully. I mean, this eye look that I created, everything just kind of blends together. So I'm actually very pleased with that. So don't let my review video, if you watch it, deter you from getting this palette. It's, it seems pretty damn amazing. So. So far. So I'm going to go in with a tighter kind of crease brush and I'm going to go into the shade Destroyer, which is this matte pink shade here. And I'm going to put that like right below where I put that yellow. And then go back in with my blendy brush and blend them together. So that's always place the color blend, place the color blend. That's the standard. So you can see they just blend together there and then they also create kind of an orange sunset effect which is what I was going for. And I'm going to take that same brush that I just used on that pink shade and I'm going to go into this orange shade called Analog. Right there it's a matte orange. I love matte orange eyeshadow. I went through a phase where it was like my daily eyeshadow. I'm going to put that below where I put the pink in my crease here. Orange from MAC. I've actually hit pan on that shadow because I used it so much. Then I'm going to go into my blendy brush and blend it again into that pink. So place the color blend. Place the color blend. <laughs> okay, so that's how it looks so far. And then I am going to go with a flat, uh, more paddle, like fluffier brush. And I'm going to use this shade Legend, which is a uh, shiny yellow shade, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So that's the shade I have here. I'm just going to put that and see it just, did you see how it just swiped on there? Like that was, it's, I mean, that's, that's what you want eyeshadows to do. I'm going to go up over where the orange came down a little bit onto my lid and I'm just going to make sure that the yellow kind of covers it because then it also helps create that a more of a gradient effect. And I'm going to go back in and blend it. I'm going to take a crease brush, so a more a finer, smaller crease brush, and I'm going to go into this shade Rewind, which is a burgundy shade. And it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's not like super metallic. And I'm just going to put this in my outer V to deepen this up and go down onto my lid a little bit 
onto that yellow just to create a C shape. There, like that, and to darken up that outer crease and then go back into this uh, bigger crease brush and go back into that orange shade analog and then just add that again on top. And then blend it. Blend it up. And you can see everything blends together. Like it's, I'm trying to get a seamless fade so it goes from, I put a little bit more of that yellow as well. So it goes from like the yellow to the pink to the orange and then burgundy and then back down to the shimmery yellow. So it creates like this sunset effect here where it just blends down. Now to help uh, blend this C-shaped burgundy color, I'm going to go in with a smaller crease brush and I'm going to take this shade Harpsichord right there. And this is a shimmery um, kind of penny, it's a penny shade, kind of an orange copper. And I'm just going to put that right next to where I put that burgundy color in my crease and blend it into that yellow shade that's on my lid so it just helps blend those two together. So there's that. So it's not just a stark contrast between the yellow and the burgundy color. Alright, that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow on the top except I will go into this shade Skulls right there and I'm going to put this in my inner corner and it's a pretty shiny white so I just put it right there to brighten up the eye look and then I'm gonna go into just my blendy brush and just blend it so it helps not create such a stark contrast there now I'm going to do my eyeliner on top and for my eyeliner that I'm going to use my Sephora the Pantone Universe Marsala line that came out and this is the liner and I realized that this liner isn't available anymore. Um, it is a very, if you see from this eye, it's a bright orange color. It's a shiny metallic liner and so I just thought it would look really cool with this look. So I just do a thin wing there along my lash line. I don't have any face makeup on the right half of my face because I wanted to do my shadow first because it's a bright look in case there was fallout. I didn't want to put the makeup on and then have to take it off, but there isn't really any fallout. I can't really see anywhere, so I probably could have done my face makeup first, which is um, pretty nice. But I'm going to go in with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer, and this is in the shade Light. And I'm just going to put this on a concealer brush and just go under my eye with it and the thing about put the good thing about putting your concealer on is you can always clean up the outer edge of your eyeshadow because a lot of times I'll accidentally drag it down lower than I want so it's always nice to be able to clean that up so it creates a crisper line there okay I'm gonna go in and blend that out with a foundation brush I'm going to use my Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector on the rest of my face. I'm not going to really put it over that concealer there because it's darker. As you can see, this Poreless Putty Perfector is a little bit darker than that concealer. And so I wanted to, um, I'm just going to set the concealer. I'm not going to put this over that. I'm just going to use it on the rest of my face. So it's a nice way to add the, a highlight and contrast without actually doing highlight and contrast. It's just um, using the concealer and foundation in a way that creates a color difference. So I'm going to set my under eye though with my e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. And where's the brush? Here it is with just this. This is a Borghese round foundation brush. And it comes in one of these sifters here. So I just dump it out into the lid, dip my brush, and go ahead and set under the eye. Now I can go ahead and do the portion of my under eye on this side now that my face makeup is on. So I'm going to take 
a, I'm gonna take a very fine, fine, tiny little brush and I'm gonna go into that shade Rewind, then Analog, which is the orange, the matte orange, and then finally Legend, which is that shiny yellow color. And I'm just gonna put it on my eye, on the bottom of my eye, on my lash line. So it kind of mimics the top there. So first Rewind, which is that burgundy shade along the outer third. Then Analog on the middle. And then finally, Legend on the first third. So you could see it created a gradient there. And then to help blend them together, I'm gonna go into that shade Harpsichord, which again is this penny shade here. And I'm going to go with a fine crease brush and dip into that. And then I'm just gonna run that along the bottom of all three of these shades to kind of blend them all together. And create more unity. So, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara. And I'm going to use my tight line, my IT Cosmetics tight line mascara, and the reason I want to use this is because it has a very, very fine, fine brush, and you can get right up against your lashes, and it goes on your waterline, and then kind of creates a black line, so it looks like, because I'm not wearing black liner, so it kind of looks like you are wearing black liner. Now, if the orange liner, if you don't have access to any orange liners, or you don't like the orange liner, a black is always the safest bet. It grounds the look. Um, and can pull, if you're wearing wacky colors, you can pull it all together, but I just really liked the way the metallic orange looked. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this tight line mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I added the tight line mascara and one of the things about that mascara is it's really good for getting right up against your lash line and I find that it's a really good primer for other mascaras. I always like to pair it with another mascara. I don't um, necessarily like to wear it on its own because it doesn't provide enough fullness for me. Um, and so I'm going to also apply my Benefit Roller Lash over top of the tight line just to help with some of the fullness and length and curl that the roller lash mascara is better at doing. You can see here I got a little smudge on my eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till that dries. I know it, this is what you do. If you get a mascara smudge anywhere on your face or on your eyes, just ignore it, let it dry. I know it's really frustrating and you're like, I want it gone now. Just wait five minutes and then you can take a brush and it just dries and flakes away. So, a little tip there if you didn't know it. There is the completed eye look using the Kat Von D My Crazy Life or Mi Vida Loca palette and I think they perform pretty damn nice. I am pleasantly surprised compared to my swatches when I originally did them, how they looked and um, the way it's performed on the eyes is pretty impressive. Um, I think it created a really beautiful um, sunset kind of look there. So. To finish off the look, I'm going to go into my Becca Skin uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Blushed Copper because I thought it would look perfect with this. It looks like that beautiful rose gold copper look. Because it's metallic and orange and I'm going to do a theme here. And again, on camera, it always looks like I'm Raggedy Ann, so I will go ahead <laughs> and kind of blend this out with a foundation brush just to, so you guys can see it um, a little less intense. So, see it adds, if you, you could see the way the light hits it, it is a shimmery blush, so I don't really, I don't need to add an additional highlight because it just, the way it blends up onto my cheekbone creates its own highlight, which is awesome. That's what I really like about this. It's like a one, pro two products in one thing. Okay, now the last thing is I'm gonna flick that mascara away. I just used my little tiny, the shader brush that I used. And see, it just flicked it away. And that's it, that is my tutorial using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. And I think that it's pretty beautiful. It's 
nice. I like it. I'm very impressed by, by the way it performed versus the way my first impression of it when I just did the swatches. I think applying it on the eye and the way the colors blend to together is seamless and beautiful and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now I'm not going to add a lipstick to this look because I'm going to shoot a video right after this showing the Kat Von D, the lipstick um, accompaniment to this palette and it is the Mi Vida Loca lipstick set so I'm gonna go ahead and show that so I'm not I'm gonna do swatches of that so stay tuned for that video and if you like my videos go ahead and like and subscribe and you'll see more from me later okay thanks bye